Sega. Hello right, everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Face and Mike Lieutenant Trakeel, along with double 200 gram burger with cheese and bacon and medium fries. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> and yeah, welcome back to Dawn of War 2 Retribution, where last time we got started on the final faction. Uh, on the one hand, I am sort of regretting just continuing with this game after we were done with the orcs and the space marines, but on the other hand, it has been fun in just how freaking long this has been going on. And just the in individual you know, story bits. Yeah, but it's also will be a relief to be actually have done it for it. it it's... I don't know how many... Other, probably I mean I have probably done this before, but... Definitely, first has time for us to do something this um... Pharaoh? <laughs> something I'm something that's just annoying me a tiny bit here. Uh, there's room for a sixth campaign under here, but they specifically limited it to five when you have six factions. So, <laughs> uh. It looks like a bit of an oversight to me, but yeah, last time we get started with the Chaos Marines, so let's continue on with this road trip with uh, Mr. trying to get out of his contract and the well, one <laughs> holding his damn leash. Yeah, hold on. Are we lagging on stream? Uh, I'm, I'm guessing the, the screen share is different for you at the moment. Yeah, you look a little bit choppy, but I look a bit choppy this time. Like, the okay. quality, picture quality is fine, but... Let's see, it's, I, I, uh, I, I tr tried changing the uh, the quality so things would be more easily read readable for you. Uh, but I'm guessing that's not really working, so I'll just put it back to smoother video. Actually, what specifically is the difference? Smoother video says 720 and 30 FPS, better text readability, does not up oh the picture will be clear source with a slow frame rate five fps yeah no okay that's what i, I thought while looking off here <laughs> also, okay. also, how would that be a fair trade-off or there we go. i don't know read-alongs or something <laughs> okay now let's see uh, power swords, not really too useful since you already have a better weapon. And we have these accessories which require Mark of Nurgle or Favor. Uh, Ow! Mark of... Uh, hmm? Uh, okay, that was more... I was surprised that... I came home about 13 minutes ago. And the burg is still hot. <laughs> okay, it must have been really damn hot beforehand. Yeah. Do you want to? I rarely go out to buy burger from the place anymore due to I'm too lazy to go outside and make my own thanks to fry. But this time, I just want to see how that place were doing for their. They are, uh, one of the best in town. Like every city has the best burger place. Okay. And that. yeah, I wanted to give it a try again. And yeah. Paper wrapped ahead of me, apparently does the job very well. 
<laughs> We've got a similar place nearby here that's just called Ribs and Burgers, which are their, they, they are just a general uh, <clears throat> snack bar, but they do have well specialized hamburgers and ribs. <laughs> so the name is rather on the nose with that. <laughs> oh, gods. Let's see. Apparently, we could give Kane a power sword to send him into melee. Hmm. Don't think it would be a good idea, but still, possibility. Let's see. Da, da, da. Mm, drain life. D disable and siphon the life from enemy units. Might be useful. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's continue on this road trip of, well, nunnery. Oh, damn it, I used to read something. Directed to Kairos. <laughs> Elephas, we must deploy and wait for a response. Priority box channel Secundus. Lord Ascendant, I lead the faithful assaulting capital spire. I am pleased to report that the spire's defenders have fallen. They were unprepared for an attack from within. We shall hold the spire and await your transmission bearing further instructions. Glory to the Ascendant! Glory to Korn! Can you divine Kairos' position? Yes. If we intercept his response. But we will first need to slaughter many to strengthen my vision in the warp. Ah, Neroth, you need but to ask. Okay. Oh dear. My sister is, I forgot the mayo. <laughs> I had no mayo to my fries. Oh well. Uh, let's wrap this up. Assailants, push them back. Do not let them gain a foothold on the spire. Oh God, there's gonna be a challenge to eat. Hmm. The size is not a problem. However, they are. They're rather infamous or famous for... I don't know how famous this is from many with these pieces of genius. Be very generous with the burger dressing. <laughs> okay, so more that it, it gets rather sloppy. Yes. Okay. We've been through this five times before. It won't be too much different on the sixth. Pull back that Lehman Russ and regroup. I think that my brain had a brain derp there. Who? Oh, it'd be just for what was under the feet of it. What is it? They've broken our lines. Fifty. Open a box with air support and stand by. If they encroach the HQ, I want the sky to fall on them! Right, I was saying, I thought it said George and Severed P. <laughs> okay. And I, and I feel like, that, no, no, my brain's playing tricks on me there. It's... Okay, now we have... Chaos Dread now, so that we can bring the bear now. So let's bring one out for this. <laughs> also, I'm getting more and more convinced that uh, a certain governess probably hasn't survived all of this bullshit. Since... I, f I forgot to read things specifically, but I think this is supposed to be the... Now, th this isn't the capital spire. It doesn't really look like not much like it. How are those broken already? Okay. 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 Target that. Oh, it's too good. I haven't eaten in these burgers in years. <laughs> Definitely sounds like you're enjoying them, then, huh? Oh yeah. Yes. I'm probably going to need to go away from cable for a later to wash my beard. Uh, of course. I don't remember this. Yeah, in anything but that has made you eat into the eat magnets. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's clear this up. And then we'll see what sort of what this upgrade for the Chaos Dreadnought does. If it just gives an add-on or gives it a full-on new mode. Okay, oh, it no. just swap it swaps out the <laughs> it swaps out the gun for a missile launcher. Okay. Nice to know. Hmm. I think mean, okay. I should have informed Gillian this earlier, so they could have jumpfully put a game bird next, next to me here on the stream. <laughs> could have. Okay. But no, I want to have it as a surprise to tease him with it. <laughs> okay, so on capture that. Remember, have you ever felt a bit jealous or teased uh, by me eating during our streams? <laughs> uh, not really. Like, I, I had two burgers myself earlier, just leftovers from a <clears throat> dinner I made on Thursday. Because, oh. yeah, hamburgers are sold in packs of two or four, and when you are, well, <laughs> when you're living in a group of three and only one, uh, and one of them <laughs> doesn't eat much, you're going to be left with, well, leftover burgers. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Kane, focus that. Neroth. Okay, Neroth, pull back a little bit. You, you pull back as well. Okay. I should see if Varius could use melee weapons because he is supposed to be a tank and all so if he has yeah. to run in for melee all right i actually have done the same thing i had learned something about ear string knots uh, a way back oh um. some months ago like do you want the chaos using like this one here it's supposed to be a new advanced version of what this space marine currently use problem is Jory Horus Heresy, the Trader League is busy stool all of them. <laughs> okay. Well, almost. <laughs> but uh, secondly, it has been so mutated and, yeah, you see yourself, modified by Chaos uh, so much that... It... Yeah, the Imperium don't want to even use the original model for those, because of the so associated with Chaos. Yeah, it's basically just the sheer association of it that is heretical. We'll consider that now. Yeah, so even even if they were able to make a original version of them, it would probably be too hard for them to uh, not remember Horus Heresy. Okay, if you I need to use, yeah. use them. What? Yeah. yeah, I I just looked up on TV tropes if they have anything on a uh, governess, <coughs> uh, governess Alana, and yeah, they, they they just confirmed that there is no mention made of her at all in this game, which leads most to believe that yeah, she did get killed during this attack or the attack that preceded our mission here. And is she either she died? Well, she is alive, but it's uh, just not mentioned to us. Yeah, which is a bit of a shame because she was a nice character. Not too important or anything, but, well, she got more shit done than her predecessor. That is already saying a lot more about her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, I should mention, I, before we start the stream, I heard something funny. Oh. And yeah, you you went a way to open a door. I don't know yeah. how to went to do. But I could hear you run down the stairs, and I didn't hear hear you iconic. Oh, <laughs> from the other side of the house somehow. Uh, yeah, but my my room is practically right above the front door. <clears throat> ah, okay, that explains it. It's kind of mm. weird. I'm able to hear you, but normally I don't hear things in your background when you stream. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you know, I, 
There, that's probably noise cancellation stuff going on. That's two of those down. Okay. Might as well get them up. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> What's he trying to be funny there? Okay. Wait, what? The <laughs> elephants went. I this one stopped working. I think after he broke the bit more well, after he got all of the units out of that building. <laughs> okay. You, what are you shooting at? Really? I think Kane needs some glasses. Or. And some sort of fixing with his helmet. <laughs> okay. He gets bombed for his trouble. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> We'll just have to get through this mission as usual because honestly, it's not really that interesting or, well, much of anything beyond that. Which we're, we're just here to basically st steal a letter. Yeah, yeah there you set that line again. Okay, knock, knock. Who's there? Chaos, but not the chaos you serve. <laughs> Give me that. Okay. <laughs> uh, where? Kane, are you still trying to blow up those specific? Yes, the he's, he still is trying to blow up his <laughs> squad of stormtroopers. Dedication, but. Uh... Wrongly placed. Okay, come on. There we go. <clears throat> I guess he doesn't like the idea of leaving survivors. Probably. Okay. I've been, t I've been testing another game for, uh, for streaming. One that I do really want to stream eventually. Though it won't be directly after this one. And I have mentioned oh. it before, Battle for Middle Earth. Oh yeah, I've been thinking, I thought about that yesterday. <laughs> okay, like, every day it seems more like and more like we just share the same singular brain, brain cell, huh? Yeah, I think we are all moving towards that point. <laughs> yes. Okay, but yeah, the one thing that is... Mm, it, Basically, the version that I've got is the fan is a fan patched version, which of course has been getting a lot of work since the official uh, version well stopped getting support and all. And it's basically the only way you can get the game these days, since well it's not digitally available. Um, but yeah, the controls with it can be a little bit awkward, but for the most part, it does work. It's more the difficulty than trying out, because on some version, it, basically the fans have been reworking the campaign a little bit to make some bits more cinematic and such. Uh, but that also means that the difficulty has been screwed around a bit. So I'm basically just going through the campaign at least once to, well, get a feeling for if the difficulty isn't too much now. And we've lost our dreadnoughts. Oh dear. Okay, those two can come back running back again. And we're just about done. Here it is. Coming Fox as expected. Now you guys reveal your location to me. Priority Vox Channel Secondus. This is the Ascendant, Azariah Kairos. Marvelously done, Sergeant. Your slaughter of your own brothers in arms shall bring much favor from Korn. Without its center of administration, Meridian is as helpless 
as a babe set upon by wolves. Remain stationed there and repel any invaders. Your reward for your faith shall be forthcoming. Skulls to corn. Help us, Lord God. I get the feeling that the Chaos Campaign has was a bit higher up in priority with the, the <clears throat> with the yeah, with the writing and the voice acting compared to some of the others. Yeah, no, it might be that they they might be one of the early ones to be worked on. Yeah, makes sense since well, they're generally seen as the big villains next to the uh, Tyranids and such. Let's see, offering to the Dark Gods, just get experience. And then we have the Bolter of Depravity. Improved defensive bonus while in cover, suppresses, and some extra health. The profane images, runes, and curses scarred into the metal of this Bolter appear no more refined than the work of a common vandal. Yet those who so much as witness it firing immediately feel appalled and revolted by its presence. Okay. Oh... I've been concerned. Well, you should be concerned with a lot of chaos stuff. True. Now, let's see. True. Also, where did I leave my notes for this? Up ah, here, I got them. Uh, da -da -da. Still need to keep an eye out for a specific piece of war gear called the Artifact of Armon. Let's see. Vicious Armor of the Merciless. Good Armor plus Energy and Energy Regen. Saved from the destruction of Prospero, this armor was taken to the planet of the Sorceress, where it was edged with powerful runes and set with crystals designed to focus the wearer's mind. Okay, that would be a good piece for Naroth, then. <clears throat> and then we get uh, Power Claws for the Chaos Dreadnoughts, and the Noise Marines can get their Blaster Masters, basically turning them into artillery. Hmm. Blast Master! Blaster Master is a game! Good. <laughs> Close enough. Which would you say? I'm th I'm leaning towards this one. Same, actually. Kairos does not yet know that I have descended upon his followers. Neroth, where did the message originate from? It came from Typhon. For 10,000 years, I have awaited a worthy offering to the Dark Gods. The Blood Raven's very chapter master would make a fitting tribute. Oh, but the tribute will be mine, sorcerer. Remember who it is you serve. You both serve me, and that will not be forgotten. How you do so is entirely of your choosing. But fail me, and your choices will narrow to how loudly you scream for the rest of eternity. Lord Abaddon, victory is within my grasp. I have intercepted a message from Kairos. He is on Typhon. Go then to Typhon and witness yourselves how Kairos will destroy the Blood Ravens. Kairos is but one man. As are you. <laughs> Abaddon just stepping in to get the kids to stop arguing over who gets the toy. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, we really need to find a weapon for you, but we could probably get that back force weapon. That would probably that would probably just force him back in. Or wait, and see. Staff. Hmm. Okay. If that's if that said specifically staff, I would have immediately given it in, uh, given him it. But no. Hmm. <clears throat> Actually. Hmm, I might need to check something, because I I don't think the guy that I you know, looked at ever said whether the artifact of Armon was a weapon or armor, or if it was an accessory. Hmm. I'll, need, I'll do uh, a quick little a good look on that. That's thing to try to figure out. Let's see, Dawn of World War II, Retribution, Artifact of Armon... There, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, the same page that's had where I took my notes from. Then just a character screen or characters page of TV tropes for the entire franchise. Uh, let's see. And then a disc, not a Discord, a Reddit page. Let me see. Uh, f can I find in page with this? Okay, this is quite a lot. Mm -hmm. oh, oh no, this this is the discovery of uh, <clears throat> this. Why is it showing me old old pages I've already seen, showed, uh, already looked at, which aren't actually hmm, relevant to what I'm looking for? But basically, the page that described the the thing about uh, getting more refunded than a unit is actually worth and such. Okay, hmm. I guess we'll just have to be well keep an eye out for it. Be right back. Need to wash my beard. Okay. Let's see, Alephus could get Lightning Claws from this. Various a Missile Launcher, Kane a Plasma Gun, and Nareth a Force Weapon. At first, let's give you your points. There. And there. Okay, now everyone except for Alephus has <clears throat> at least one max uh, trait, <laughs> one level 5 trait. Hmm. I'm back. It wasn't bad at all. I expected there to be more room might be about. It was barely any, apparently. Okay. Who would oh, you say so to. Tasty. Who would you say to give uh, this thing to? We've got uh, Lightning Claws for Elephus, a very. Uh, yeah, various would get a missile launcher, plasma gun for Kane, and a force weapon for Naroth. I think Kane will probably, no, not Eliphas would probably keep uh, well with this thing. Yeah, but the plasma rifle sounds bloody him. Have we seen how how for plasma is? True, but hmm, would it be better or worse? We kind of want to keep him as our anti-tank, but we could just bring the, in some uh, actual anti-tank troops. Yeah, and also. Ain't that plasma good against both? Hmm. Yeah, I know it's at least decent against armor. So, plasma then? Yeah, let's go with plasma. Let's see. Warp splitter. And of course, it's more red than blue, as it is with the Space Marines. Uh, yeah, only 20% damage against vehicles, but oh well. Oh, come hmm. on. Let's see. Wait, hold on. Chance on hits, deal large damage, and randomly teleport targets. Okay, it doesn't say what chance, though. Hmm. The sorcerer's enchantment Ooh. upon this plasma rifle has long since decayed, corrupting the plasma it generates and fires with uh, unpredictable warp energies. Hmm. I should... Uh, I think at one point I might go back to this game just to get a look at what all the items you can get are. Maybe add that to the wiki or something. <clears throat> uh, also, you could take this thing in his place, but we kind of want you to be more close up. So, let's actually give you a force weapon. Oh hmm. dear. And we've got two melees. One long range, or two long range, and one more medium range. One here. Hmm. Okay, Typhon is our next major, but we've got an optional here. We found a power station, boss. Should give us the juice we need to finish her up. And what's you here telling me about it? I told you to find them and to guard them. Even if the humans don't come to take them back, someone else might come nick them. We're supposed to just sit on them power nodes and hope a scrap comes to us? Where's the fun in that? We only need them nodes long enough to finish building Daisy. That is when the fun begins. Thieves lack the virtue that the dark gods find so pleasing to crush. Yet their spoils may still benefit us. Oh dear. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> now that we are just getting to the end of the game, I'm 
just trying to think of ways of that this game could have been improved and one way would probably be to just give most factions different objectives in certain missions Millennia pass, but orc slaying remains an unchanging pleasure. <laughs> oh god. But yeah, I would just proceed to give it something they have some issue they have in common, like they have a hero at some moment. Just make sure they hit different for each other. But also more unique missions for each of them. Yeah, like have some be uh, shared ones, but have just most be at least somewhat different <clears throat> like with uh, the orcs and the the, the the convoy mission make it more of a <laughs> make it more that you're trying to steal the stuff instead of trying to break it and such but yeah <sighs> I think that's what the orcs were planning to steal it hmm. Maybe, but yeah. Maybe there is some fan project for this game to change things up a lot, but I'd, I'd have to look around for that. And I honestly don't think there's too much of a chance for that. Like this game is still fun, but the fact that ev nearly every mission is the same just does drag it down a lot. Yeah. And wait, is it more plasma pistol? Uh, no, 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 that's various. I'm looking at not game. Hmm. Train life. Let's see what it actually does. <laughs> of course, disable <laughs> disables them and disabilizes. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> real. Okay, someone just drop a grenade on his head. Okay. Hmm. We can go after the yeah, the weird boy early here, I'd say. And I'm pretty sure on every single time that we've gone through this mission, we've skipped this node here. So let's continue that trend. <laughs> Hmm. Like, I, I do in generally like the differences in the heroes and such, but it's not really in much, it's not really enough of a change to, well, fully justify things. Yeah. Um, hmm. Hopefully, whenever they make a new Dawn of War game, if they ever do it, yeah. I hope that we learn lessons from the, the others. Or one wor what works and what doesn't work. Definitely. But seeing how they screwed up Dawn of War 3, it might be a long time since since that might come. <clears throat> yeah, and being part of that, this also was due to the marketing team. And marketing it as something else than uh, what people got. Uh, that's always... Yeah, that's always another good way of just <laughs> ensuring that your game is going to die quickly. Like, most games will will lose most of their players within like a year or so, but good ones are games where people will return. <clears throat> I'm talking about mostly single-player games here. Good games will have people come back and buy it later at some point, just from word of mouth and such. Ooh, yeah. But bad games, at best, they might expect to get bought as a curiosity. From it can't really be that bad and such. Yeah, they, they had plans to do DLCs to streamline it a bit more and all of that. But due to how bad it went, they actually abandoned the DLCs and yeah, it was gonna apparently a rare case of Relic actually abandoned the game shortly after it was released after a year or something. I might call them the numbers wrong, but still, they noticed people were not happy. Mm. 
I also do have to say that having the amount and quality of uh, items dropped be de partially dependent on difficulty, that, that is something I gotta say that also kind of irks me. Like, you won't, on the easier difficulties, you won't need as powerful gear and such. But still, to put a limiter on it like that, that just feels like well, you're probably pushing people towards the higher difficulties, which on its own might be cons is a good thing, but it still comes across as a dick move. Yeah. <laughs> I, I might try a playthrough with the orcs on medium or, or normal or hard difficulty, to see if there really is that much of a change. But, yeah, still... <laughs> it feels like a punishment for trying to enjoy the game. Who do you think you is? Stealing what we done rightfully stole. Boys, get in there and take that note back. Oh dear. It will be mine. Okay. You stay at the back, you at the front, you over there. Okay. You probably should have waited a little bit, but okay. No, not you. You. There we go. Get the worship going, get the buff going. With the Noise Marines, one squad, oh, really just a plain bolter. Oh, okay, it turns them into a heavy weapons team. Okay. Oh dear. Uh, well, there was a big splat. Okay, they're just fucking sonic bolts. Okay. I'm, I think I'm going to like this mode. I'm a bit surprised we haven't seen... We didn't get to see it, well, on the enemy side. But I do fire really slow with it. Though it could be because of limited firing arc. Like, that one's in range, but not really in their line of sight, I think. You get a bit closer. Eating. Clear off. We just use the juice from the others to finish up. Okay. Hmm. Uh, it's not every way I feel stuck during stream. <laughs> oh, you did get yourself specifically from the side of the big burgers, so that's your own fault. Oh, yeah. Okay, so basically, basically they, get, they just get themselves a sonic rocket launcher. Though it's much higher accuracy from the looks of it. It's almost a good thing. And if no people wonder, no, I'm not going to do this as a regular thing. <laughs> yeah, people generally don't really like it to hear people eating over a camera and over a mic anyways. Yeah, luckily, it doesn't pick up that sound on the mic, like you know, but I do try to promise to not speak with my mic while full. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I probably should have gone for the bigger one with that attack, but I will. Or with the grenades. I guess kind of why I'm gonna like this mic for my old mic 
but probably have allowed me everyone to hear me shoot the Vitos. This I could see be annoying. Very annoying, yeah. Okay, capture that. Really? That didn't open any of these? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is, so that attack is basically more flash <laughs> than anything else. Okay. Now, moving on to the next node. Let's see. Let's get a... Actually, no, we, we, we can't even get one. Hmm. Let's see. Okay, I will admit that it is satisfying to be able to to use noise marines on the enemy instead of being the target for them every time. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, that, folks. <coughs> you, mean, okay. you think the burger may be big fruit? Yeah. Sometimes I always feel a bit annoyed. Like when enemy faction use an annoying trick, they do use it flawlessly, almost or always. But when you get to use them, you will struggle to use them properly because the enemy will deny you every possible chance to do so. Yeah. <clears throat> Good. Hmm. Let's see, we've already, we've already got an idea of what game to, well, <laughs> to replace this one with once we're done with it probably next week. Uh, Strange Horticulture, which is a game I got recently. Uh, it is a rather short one, but not as short as Try Again. Boss, they got another power node. Oh, well, yeah. that's just greedy, that is. Oh, I'm sending in the big dagger to take it back. Okay, uh, start the worship. Trying to get was a unique situation. <clears throat> we had yeah. to showcase it with a little finishing it. Okay. I should get some more units. Actually, no, we're just about to head for Daisy anyways, so having more units there is not going to be too useful. Then again, we don't really have much anti-vehicle, so... Let's get at least one squad of space, you know, actual marines and some Havocs. Yeah, hopefully we can find a better weapon for Kane later. Like, yeah. Again, plasma is good, but that plasma gun was kind of... Disappointing? Hmm. It could have been much worse, but yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna guess if it had been a him, oh, that might be the thing for the... Plasma weapon we had that was extremely good against everything was the heavy plasma cannon. Yeah. This gonna make sense since, well, heavy it's in its name. Wrecker. Okay. Oh, tank. It looks hungry. Well, we won't need to worry about food anyways now. Hmm. I'm still surprised that the orcs oh, can't get... Boys, they get back to Daisy, sharpish. Kick these thieving magpies off the last node. Uh, I'm, say is, I'm still surprised that orcs can get... ...drunk... <laughs> ...on... <laughs> Tank fuel. Can't really say I'm too surprised with that. Right. You lot can uh, stop your seance. Uh, oh, look at the power uh, or reclaim uh, thingy. The yellow stuff you have, uh, how much you have. Requisition 665. 
Just need one more for it to be fitting. Oh dear. And I just realized. Since this is the tradition of the tank boss uh, group, the, the ones that goes in melee with tanks with rocket hammers. Yeah. I guess they use rockets on a hammer to destroy tanks in melee. Would that mean if, if they, when they are drunk, if you shoot them with a bolt or something, the explosion be bigger? Probably. There's, there's probably plenty of rules where orcs just plain explode. <laughs> yeah, and probably survive for, uh, again, you can take one orc's head and put it on another orc's uh, body. And they'd be fine. Bring forth more servants of the dark gods. Uh, I think yeah. it has been quite well a mad dog to put one who said on another oak's body where the original head was still attached and uh, as you may have guessed you want something stopped around here you gotta stop it yourself Tarda me daisy so you gotta love the fact that this guy doesn't even have a name it's just orc knob I wish they gave him a name but yeah both heads did try to destroy each other while using the same body. <sighs> okay, he's going after Neroth. Okay. Oh gosh. Wait, you know not roll it forward at all. Do you know what this oddly reminds me of? Uh, what? Uh, who are they targeting? I can't tell who they're targeting. Oh. Uh, Robot Wars? Nope, they were going after this one here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, I mean uh, it somehow reminds me of Robot Wars. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> Robot Wars, Battle Bots, because it's basically... Just a square arena with a big robot. It's not it's not showing who it's targeting anymore, it seems. Weird. That must be a bug. Okay, yeah, it is taking more damage now. So that definitely did damage its armor. So it is probably possible to break this thing before you get it to run over barrels three times. Crush him under the death roller. Okay, everyone just pile up there and he's go he, whoever he's going for, he's going over the barrels all the same. Oh, I can't wonder how much of this thing's on the damn thing was originally on it. Probably not much, and he he didn't even go for it there. Weird. Okay, now he is showing a target. Okay, so there is a glitch going on, but it seems to be a somewhat fixing itself. But I don't know if it was the was there, like that's how kind of orcs do it. They just add things to it and add more things to it. So. I could have guessed that actually was originally supposed to be a construction thing. Yeah, I'm thinking the crusher <laughs> and the lower part of most of it is original. Yeah, and I'm not guess some of the movie parts probably was supposed to be for something else. They also replaced some of the things with guns. There we go. And now we just finish her off. Exploded! I feel like that's a reference. I feel like I've heard that before. Yeah, you've heard it five times before in this very game. Six now, but still, I feel like I heard that from a cartoon or something. Okay, we get Sigil of the Warp. Okay, War Gear. This artifact allows its bearer to rend the barriers between reality and the warp. 
teleporting themselves to a location instantaneously. If the Mark of Zinch is fully upgraded, its recharge time is significantly reduced. Okay, so this is for LFS, then I'm guessing. Okay, we did get a good amount of loot this time. Armor of Thorns. Let's see, blessed by, uh, blessed by corn, the exterior and interior of this armor is lined with needle-like teeth, feeding on the blood of, we of its wearer and assailant, al oh, of wearer and assailant alike. Okay. <laughs> Here we got demonic trophy, plus, uh, plus movement speed and sight range. Let me fly on the wings of furies and see with the eyes of fate. And modified Mark III power armor. Uh, power armor, what? Uh, right. Uh, I thought my mouse was over this one, since we already saw that one. Uh, let's see. Powerful chaotic, um, <clears throat> powerful chaotic power armor bearing ancient enchantments and inscribed litanies to the Dark Gods. Uh, M33 pattern uh, bolter. A compact weapon that fires... Uh, Blech. Rapidly fires self-propelled bolts capable of piercing many forms of infantry armor. Okay, more bow. Okay, actually a bone as well in cover and some health. I had not actually okay. expected that on a on a, a white named uh, uh, item or a common item. And then we have wrecker. Who? Though traitor, titan, uh, though traitor Titan Aquila Ignis was almost completely destroyed during the Schism of Mars, this titanic maul was forced from a shard recovered from the wreckage. Since the end of the Dark Crusade on Cronus, the Wrecker is a Titan's final legacy and continues to bring destruction to the enemies of Chaos. Plus 50 damage to vehicles. Okay. Alright. I think it actually deals more damage than the one we have on Elephus, so we might actually have a new thing for him. And he... Weird if it becomes an, uh, possibly the new anti-tank? <laughs> Maybe. He's gonna do rocket boat? Is this because I was talking about the... Tank Buster Orcs, like melee fights tanks with rocket ca gun... Uh, rocket hammers? Have we get Maybe. this? Let's see, Doom Spitter, a heavy bolter, uh, on hit, deals damage in an area around the target, no chance, just every hit does that, and extra sight range. Runes that's inside the barrel of this massive weapon are activated by the heat and scratch of every round, imbuing the projectiles with unstable warp energy that, er that erupts a fraction of a second later once the round has found its mark. Or the oh. Chaos Predator. I have to admit that sounds pretty awesome. But Kane is the only one who can use it. I, hmm? It is bloody tempting, ain't it? Let's actually take a look for a moment. Yeah, it is b a bit more damage. Extra damage against vehicles. So, we swap those around. And shall we give Kane the bolter then? Or, hmm? I'm tempted to... For the tanks are it pretty AOE. powerful. It was AOE damage and all that. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, what did I just swap that with? Berserk, warp, consume. Hmm. Uh, where did, could we click again to get our stuff? No. Hmm. Wait, did I just accidentally skip it, or do I need to still get it for... Uh... Okay. Did I... you just... <laughs> it's looking a bit like it. Weird. I think we've had this before that we could choose one, but clicked away to compare against other stuff. I, th but I think that was in the base game Dawn of War Two, maybe or Chaos Rising. No, we've done it here before as well. Oh, wait. No problem. Here. Okay. Oof. Hmm. So yeah, tank or Doom Spitter. Hmm. 
The Doom Speeder is bloody tempting. Let's take it this time. We'll see if we come to regret that. You finish that line. Okay. You, uh, let's see, what were my notes on you? Anything specific enough for this? Uh, it's tough. Uh, wait. Hmm. Okay, I've got a note here that I'm not too sure on if I, if it was for Neroth or Eliphas. I think it might have been for Neroth to go only to here with him. And then go fully into these as much as possible, or... Okay, I can't really tell. It's it's in between their lines, so... Hmm. If you feel like the one you should go with scenes, uh, yeah. since it should probably make give you more yeah, magic powers and all that. Yeah, let, let's go a bit into that. We'll see where we go from there. Chain, let's see... And uh, knocks back to the Turk, increase energy. To be honest, most of what we want from him is to just fire from afar. Hmm. Recharge, shift into, yeah, shift to be unable to attack, but also unable to be damaged. Let's just go with health for him. Yeah, I just realized. Okay, here's the thing. If this team uh, was, uh, that Chaos team was defeated early on, there is one oddity. Mm -hmm. Why are these two not voice act? Yeah, it's a bit odd that they <laughs> most have three voice act, but this one just has two. So, hmm. Yeah. yeah maybe, maybe they were put more somewhere in the middle ground or something. Maybe. Uh, for now, though, which line do we go down further with various? We can go his offense line, where, well, it base it's it upgrades his infection stuff, which makes right. it a better healing, but and also deals more damage to the enemies and such. Wait, where do we go to purple line with him for what you, these last two were doing? Yeah, <laughs> just a, a zombie plague. <laughs> Uncontrollable. Uh, could still be fun, though. So, yeah, zombie... Is it uncontrollable? That's making me concerned. Uh, I don't think they will attack us, but more just attack any enemies in the area and such. All right, I'm going to hope it is just that. Otherwise, that could bite us. We'll find out. Okay. Um, you did pretty well up close. Now, let's see. Anyone's armor? 40, 44. Mm -hmm. Having you have thorned armor would make a lot of sense and such. No visual change. 27. 9. And various. Let's actually give that to you, and Kane gets the replacement. Oh, so you get this thing now. <laughs> okay. Wait, aren't aren't these things typically belt-fed? Because I think he's kind of missing, well, the supply of it, or... Uh, actually, I'm guessing it just pulls ammo straight out of the warp, probably. Maybe? I'm sure? I think you're probably supposed to have an entire belt. Hmm. Okay, anyone else with new armor or such? Sigil of the Warp. Hmm. Yeah, with Neroth, let's go, let's go down this line for a bit. He gets his, his third accessory slot quite late here at number four. Which is a bit odd. Typically, that's more like the second or third. Oh, well. Uh, nobody has any use for that armor, so we can sell it. Um, we've got three different boulders. Let's take a quick look. Scatter damage, scatter damage, scatter damage. Level 5, level 6. Let's keep all but the highest level 1. 
Okay. And off the Typhon we go. Oh dear. Since the psychic power is ahead, let us still. Kairos is alone. Soon this place will succumb to the twisted powers of chaos. You are certain Kairos is alone, and this is not a trap. Do not doubt my abilities, Elephas. I have divined a single powerful source of energy. One that blinds all who look in or out of the warp. Kairos is here, and I detect no other life forms to defend him. Excellent. I should hardly be surprised that the leader of the wretched Blood Ravens be so thoughtless. Such foolishness will lead to a most disgraceful death. <laughs> I would have it no other way. Uh, when it sounds too easy, it is just too easy, and it's just a trap. Yeah, it's gonna drive and it's so easy, but I had had movements where it was, it was just that easy. But those movements do happen. <laughs> Anything you need to tell me about, or are you talking about in-game here? <laughs> I mean, more like in some games and in some real-life events and all that. Yeah. Actually, now I'm reminded of, uh, I believe it was a Chinese general or something. Uh, basically, the story was that they were... Um, we're going to get into a cutscene here, so I'll just let that happen first. Me. What is this? Nothing was supposed to find us here. Warhost, hold fast. They must not disrupt the Seer Council. But yeah, basically the story was that it was a known, I believe it was Chinese general, I could be wrong on that. Uh, but yeah, someone who was known to be quite a trickster and quite a, yeah, quite a strategic genius as well. But the problem was that at one point he had gotten chased uh, to a, spe uh, a specific alone fortress. <laughs> Kairos thinks to hide behind the Elder. This is an amusing distraction. Elder are far too weak and misguided to slow the advance of the Black Legion. We will burn all that stands before us. Okay. But, yeah, he, he was forced to retreat to a specific Legion that was, like, massively outnumbered or so with an army chasing after him. Uh, but, but basically he put those smarts to, uh, to, yeah, to use by basically just throwing the freaking gates open before they arrived and just sitting in the middle of the gates playing on an instrument. And basically, the, 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 he, it was a full-on bluff. He was fully bluffing. If they attacked, he would have been dead fully and anyone else in there but because he because he was bluffing that he was so hard uh, they basically assumed that he had to be absolutely confident that it was that he was going to win no matter what he did so <laughs> the chasing army retreated oh i may have heard of this one it was a oh it was in the ancient time or medieval times that he did that yeah, somewhere in the... Well, definitely when the first letter of the year was still at one. My king, we shall strike them before vanishing. Prepare yourselves. Oh, that is... As long is... as the webway gate remains concealed, we may call in help. As Kairos promised to reveal their craft world if the Eldar aid him. It matters not. We must press forward. They call for Wraith Lords to warp. I would suggest we fight to destroy their Wigway gate before long. Oh dear. Oh yeah, we have a piece of full of situation where someone has uh, really messed with the, the opponent's heads. Yeah. yeah okay, now I'm, act now I'm actually kind of wondering one thing though. Would Elder ever work with Chaos? Or Chaos Marines at least? Because, well... 
working for zines, indirectly working for zines, that would probably be seen as, so... Uh, uh, they are Chaos Eldar! True, but the, the well, non-Chaos Eldar probably would never align themselves with uh, known Chaos worshippers. But here's the thing. Mainly Eldar hordes come to Chaos. I'm not talking about the dog game, I'm not talking about Chaos Eldar. Okay. They don't realize they have to come to it. As many Space Marines and Imperial Guard do when, well, they fall. Yeah. They, when Chaos Eldar, they didn't know where they fall and all that usually, but. Yeah, they, they, you made another person to bring out that. that I think it was. I forgot who it was to put out another dark yellow that. You have fallen in the corner, you haven't realized it yet. And that's what I go on with the uh, other opponent realized they have been having a very strange bloodlust over the millennium. It will be mine. Okay, and for once we actually took the different paths. Actually went a lot smoother that way. I was hoping I was sort of expecting to find some more resistance this way. Mm. Yeah, oh, let yeah. them come normally to us. El just normal Eldor will not cooperate with Chaos. Yeah. The Ruby will trick them maybe for something, but they will probably not aid them. And there's probably more likely they will try to destroy them or have the, the Chaos uh, Chaos to store itself if they could. No, for that they typically just have to wait for one of them to get into an argument with the other. That order is speeded along. Do not presume to command me. Crush that. Okay, now someone come capture this thing. I take this. Oh, yeah. The rest I of you actually... The... You go... The, the, this is a about Chaos Eldor. And there was more than just one type. Okay. I might go look that up. Uh, by Wes Hammer, I'm presuming, or someone no. else? They haven't gone to that far, far yet. Uh, actually, the, I think the YouTube is called the Black Library, or something like that. Okay. Very much. I think it was at least six types. One of them were. One of those Eldar who got stuck. In the war, when uh, you know Slanesh was born, okay. Um, some planet got sucked into the warp from there, and um, yeah, they don't look like Eldar anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> long enough exposure to the warp definitely would do that. Yeah, yeah, they turned into giant bats. Okay, <laughs> that I didn't they expect. They actually got so much that they kind of devolved. There are more animals than Eldar at the point. Here we go. Two dreadnoughts oh, yeah. should do. There are about, this, I think, six types, and that one is probably the one that had. Um... Yeah. The most drastic change. Definitely, yeah. Okay. Let's see if this motley crew and two dreadnoughts is enough to deal with all of this. It does remind me. So as I learned, it is actually 40k related and sort of bat related. There hmm. are vampires in 40k. Okay. There are aliens that can shape shift. However, they are very anti-social. Like they will not cooperate with other vampires. But I've been trying to gain position of power. Just to have easy good. time feeding. <laughs> what they oh, call themselves is unknown currently. They, the Imperial has just decided this is them vampire. But they have realized that the old Terran myths are true about them. They just did not realize that they will uh, not cooperate with each other at all. And it's, if I, basically, yeah. if one of them and then another vampire, yeah, that probably will be a bloody conflict. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. We can have another one. Or no more power needed. Yeah. Call this spam. Like spamming uh -oh. the spamming the most basic troop outside of the scouts with the Space Marines has basically worked every single time so far, hasn't it? Yeah. Look, it would be fun if they shouted more uh, like lunatics they are. Can I kill this guy before he even gets the first jump done? Nope. Love it. They are right to flee my wrath. <laughs> Do not worry, Eliphas. I can feel that despair echoing through the wall. The council is sure to be nearby. Oh, God. Uh, what was it say? Vampires. Oh, right. uh, that I've already been done with, therefore I don't remember much anything about them. I do know some of them have been taking position as a uh, planet governors and all that. And they've been dealt with when they were uh, found out. Definitely. Uh, yeah, position. They, they would be like the first targets any Inquisitor would go for if they were found out. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. And when it comes to cultists, I'm not be surprised if some of the cultist groups are. In comparison, probably as crazy as um, certain enemies in Borderlands. The psychos. Yeah. Okay, where's the Exarch? Not all of them, for they're obvious. There has been so many very well, dangerously well disciplined uh, chaos cultists. But also yeah, those are. are Complete lunatics. I just would. You blind, murderous fools. Basically, I just chaos just summarized. Would... <laughs> what did we say? They're blind, murderous fools. Basically, chaos mur <laughs> chaos sur uh, yeah, summarized. Yeah, and yeah. Some will be very disciplined and fire like, these are very dangerous. Then you have those that use just wood shots in mass with anything they got screaming. And apparently we get no reward at all. Okay. What? Let's see. Thunderous heavy bolter, that probably is the glitch. Chance on a hit to stun the enemy infantry. A stolen artifact of the salamanders. The frame of this heavy bolter is reinforced so n as not to shudder to pieces from the heat and recoil of the high density rounds it fires. And the shrieking auto cannon, knockback on the hit. No, not chance, just knockback any time apparently. The shells used in this cannon were etched with runes of Selesh. Their muscle velocity is quadrupled, causing a sonic scream as they rip through the air, pleasing to the noise of marines that the weapon was created to support. <laughs> of course. Hmm. Why are we now getting weapons that seem, feel so tempting? Let's see. Deathless armor. On take damage, suppresses attacker. Health regen. Said to have belonged to Captain Ignatius Grugor of the Death Squads, this ancient suit of power armor possesses an unnatural strength of the traitor space marine who refused to succumb to death. He meant <laughs> Death God, not Death Squad. Yeah, Death God, yeah. <laughs> okay, and then Bloodletters get the ability to teleport, and Heretics get an inspiring champion. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was also more useful at the moment. Yeah, because we haven't really used blood letters at all so far. And plus, sergeant units are always good. Yeah. It would give the cultists some more staying power. Okay. And you... Hmm. I think outside of his offense uh, tree, he really doesn't have too much usefulness, I think. Like, Warp Shift Eater is absolutely useless unless he is, like, completely surrounded. And you're going for a no-death run or something. Hmm. Uh, 
Yeah, let's give him health. Even though he will not have much use of it. Let's see. Shrieking Auto Cannon, Heavy Bolter, Heavy Bolter. Doom Speeder is better than this one. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep the Doom Spitter. Finally, he gets some <laughs> other weapons and we still don't use them. Okay. Yeah, they were, they were tempting, but mm, new upgrades available for your squads. Did you yeah, just take the on? Yeah, it, yeah it, just, really. it just does that every time. Missions temporarily unavailable. What's that about? Or was that because. We hadn't picked up uh, the reward yet. As Kairos promised to reveal their craft world if the Eldar aid him. It matters not. We must press forward. Uh, okay, that was just reused. Suspended Hellblades or Power Claws for Dreadnoughts? Hmm. Now, now that I think about it, a f the fourth unit of this squad could have worked perfectly as a Zinch character, like a noise marine. No, no, you, you mean a Slanesh? Uh, yeah, Slanesh. Bleh. Very good, my brothers. How fortunate I am that your soldiers follow your every enlightened command. Who is this fool? Who dares interrupt my campaign of terror? I am Azariah Kairos. You were hoping to find me on Typhon, were you not? But here I am, a voice in your head. No coward has ever remained hidden from the Black Legion. I will relish in your soul's eternal suffering. The Blood Ravens are weak, as are the rest of you loyalists. You think me a loyalist? Enlighten me then. Why do you presume that I will kill the Blood Ravens myself? You see, the relentless war in this sector has driven the Inquisition to declare exterminatus. The Eldar's distortion rituals were the only thing delaying the arrival of the Inquisition's ships. When you killed the Council, the warp storms cleared. Now, those very ships are orbiting Typhon. Fealty of the God Emperor, our undying Lord, and by the grace of the Golden Throne, I declare exterminatus upon the Imperial world of Typhon Primaris. I hereby sign the death warrant of an entire world and consign a million souls to oblivion. May Imperial justice account in all balance. The Emperor protects. Orbital strike! Move from here! It must be magnificent to see a planet writhe and scream, to feel it convulse beneath your own feet, witness it dying with living eyes. In time, perhaps I may share this gift with every last living soul in the galaxy. Until then. Abaddon is not going to be happy once he f learns that LFS has basically gotten his face rubbed into a turd by Kairos tricking him like that. Yeah! Holy! Uh, also, <laughs> an idea, uh, a 
a joke I probably should have made like the first or second time we ran through this mission now that we're going through it for the half dozen time. Basically, basically Kairos used a VPN to trick him. Or to trick us. Uh, uh, the Blood Ravens uh, chapter sponsored by NordVPN. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, we know how this goes by now. We just need to get past whatever groups are dumb enough to actually fight us, and then kick the Chaos uh, Champion at the end. <laughs> Back into the warp. Kane just got nuked by something. Okay, o overall the story of this game is pretty good, it's just such a nuisance that you go through basically the exact same th main story like six times. With the only real story differences being, well, small things per faction and their own s struggles with it. Hmm. Okay, but yep, yeah. I'll definitely be happy to see the end of this game finally. Again, not because it's a bad game, just because, but because it just gets repetitive to play through it six times. Uh, let's leave that be. Uh, also, if it looked like I was, well, more than looking away there for a bit, I was reaching for the sides to find a pillow to put behind my back or something. <sighs> okay, I definitely should be using... I definitely should be using the... Uh, okay, why did it click out like I unselected him or something? Uh, I definitely should be using Narod's powers a bit more. Also, I have no idea what those re these cooldowns are for. Is that for something with their armor or such? I may need to take another look at things with that. Hmm. Uh, also, are you still there or are you muted? I must be just still checking on something. Okay. There was a lot of chat in one of my friend's Discord. I wonder what the heck is going on. Okay. Uh, luckily, I've seen this so many times. I thought, all right, I can do a quick check here. Yeah, it, it does. It does lose some of its interest after you've seen it like <laughs> six times. Yeah, and they are on a point where there's not much uh, story log, just running and shooting. Yeah. Uh, this, this game could have been a lot better if they had the time to actually work on it and such, but no such luck. <laughs> I've probably been wondering what was going on. Just friends, uh, two friends are nerding out uh, happily. <laughs> what is this? You lowly vermin truly think to escape? Ungrateful scum, squandering Lord Kairos' gift of a glorious death! Pay your penance in blood! Blood for the blood god! Skulls for the skull throne! I am here to small steps, corrupt. Okay. You two go ahead. You grab that. You just stand back a bit. And let's see, at least one group of cultists. And let's just actually get his... <laughs> we don't have the requisition for that. Okay, just stand here. Uh, where is Kane? I, th I thought I told you to grab that. Okay, there. You get in there. Hmm. Okay, I probably should have grabbed a few more boxes then, but oh well. Uh, 
I think we should still be able to do this more than easily with the buff and such. Then. Pull back a bit. Hmm. Well, also, I guess I'm being kind of a bit quiet also from the, oh, you know, the burger. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, get back here, you. I also, I, mean, I also forgot to check some chaos video videos, but also at the same time, mm -hmm. I'm not sure what a chaos video I should check on. You move forward, some corrosive ball spewer. Uh, I don't really need that uh, picture. <laughs> Is it... Oh gosh, I think I just realized why it has... It has been having a bit of odd... I got a bit of a odd feeling that it looks familiar to me. And I think I just right finally realized why it looks familiar to me. And that being? Do you recognize the name Space Jockey? Uh, I think I've heard I've heard the word definitely, but if it's from a show or such, I'm not. It's not pulling any uh, ring any bells. It's the nickname for the giant alien in the first Alien movie, uh, the one that was in the damn chair. The, the engineers, I believe they're called. Oh yeah, the death name came later, but yeah, people used to call it Space Jockey at first. Until they got to know they were called engineers. But yeah, Space Jockey is specifically that one's nickname. Okay. I'm not sure what part of it is a jockey. Like, again, some nicknames are kind of weird or extremely uh, very uh, very stretched out. But it kind of looks like we could have two little face like him. <laughs> Just more gross. Okay, well that's one mystery finally solved. I'd be surprised okay. if that was the intentional inspiration, or I would not be surprised if it was a bit more of an accidental one. Probably accidental. Okay, nine more kills before we get the champion. Fade Weaver Staff, okay. <laughs> Nero is finally getting his stick of his own. None shall escape! None shall escape the sacrifice! There he is. Okay, I think I'm going to I'm going out on a bit of a guess here, but I'm guessing he's a bit of like a the force commander from the base game with just a different skin. Maybe? Hmm. Maybe. Also, for also, our main we... unit, Eliphas really has just a boring kit, doesn't he? It's just big mace, big boom attack. Yeah, but there is a charm to it. It just feels a bit wasted here, in a way. Yeah. And even the bloody orcs have more abilities each, even if you discount just the wog. Yeah. And Kane is falling behind. And I was just saying, I feel like of all names they could have given this dude, why Kane? Since we, we already have the avatar of Kane. <laughs> this is just literally a little spelling for it. Yeah. Uh, I, I think he and Various have, were mostly just afterthoughts. And I've, hmm. Now I'm trying to imagine what this game would have been you know, if all four heroes of every campaign had speaking roles and actual personalities.
does a Kuntra video be awesome or horrible, depending on how they write? True. Flaming Skull. The skull breathes an eternal searing flame. <clears throat> Flames. Uh, when its gaze is fixed upon an enemy, fiery orbs of destruction erupt from the caster's tainted soul. To mark of corners for the upgrade of extra orbs will be unleashed. Okay. Then we've got the corrosive bile spewer. <laughs> really? Plus eight damage. Uh, it is a very fast firing weapon, so that would make a lot more sense. Or very fast, I say yes. It says four out of ten. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Bonus against vehicles and buildings. Yeah. Let's see. The caustic effluence vomited from this weapon is said to come from the bloated intestines of the demon Ulcare, imprisoned within the icy heart of Aurelia. <laughs> okay. Uh. And let's see. Then we have the Faith Weaver Staff, grants the Doombolt ability, but we already have that. Plus 100 ac ac the accuracy. Percent actions. Does it mean that it's would be one hundred and eighty percent, or just doubled it to one hundred and sixty? Not that it would make too much of a difference. Touched by the great demon Fate Weaver, the Oracle of Zinch, this staff is unerringly accurate in its attacks. And then the crushing missile launcher. The density of the metals in this missile launcher has been amplified through corrupt magics to such a point that it would crush any who attempted to lift it without the support of power armor. <laughs> okay. And it suppresses in a, and it yeah, it suppresses in an AoE where it hits. Hmm. Okay. I think I think they found some interesting weapons here. Like this stuff is definitely an improvement, I think. It yeah. is human nature to seek culpability in a time of tragedy. It is a sign of strength to cry out against fate, rather than to bow one's head and succumb. Inevitably, many shall fault the hands upon the sword which felled Typhon, the Ordo Malleus. But the Inquisition merely performs the duty of its office. To further fear them is redundant. To hate them, heretical. Those more sensible will place responsibility with those who force the hands of the Inquisition. With some fortune, they may foster this hatred into purpose and further rule their own fate by coming to the Emperor's service. Yet ultimately, it was I who set these events into motion. With a single blow from my hammer, God Splitter. Yes, yeah, so often as we have seen this, though, it does remain pretty impressively animated. Let's see. Suspended Hellblades. On hits, discharge warp energies that deal damage and slows enemy units in an area, so an AoE sword, plus some energy. The sword of a demonic bloodletter, suspended in stasis by chance by the spell of an Elder Psyker at the precise moment the bloodletter was slain. Okay. But only Eliphas and Cain can wield it. Hmm. Or power claws for the dreadnoughts. I'm actually... Temp I'm actually tempted to take this thing instead of the hammer, though that means we'll have to give Kane another anti-vehicle weapon again. Maybe. It's kind of weird. We've been tempted by this war game more than usual. Normally Which we is... end up ignoring them. <laughs> Which is kind of fitting, since, well, in Chaos Rising, the, the, the tainted war gear was uh, pretty tempting to use and would make a good way of falling to the chaos. Yeah. Hmm. To close upgrade chaos dreadnought is also tempting. Is, I'm not sure what it would really give. It's, it doesn't really say what's in it, what it would be stronger against, just to make give it a second melee claw. It already has a cannon. It already has the upgrade to be anti-vehicle. So this would just be pure melee damage. I'm gonna I'm... guess it means it will. Um, 
Oh, how to say this? Become a uh, giant blender. blender. <laughs> I think I'll go for the swords. Hmm? Oh, might as well. Okay. Might as well go with the sword. <laughs> okay, Elephus, take that. Okay, yeah, that that looks pretty cool. It, it, oh, that's it's a blood leather sword. The he has. Wait, hold on. Turn him a little bit. Even, even his quote unquote pistol has a bayonet. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's a Terminator pistol, but he's been in Terminator armor this entire time, so that would make sense. You get your new stick, which looks exactly like the old stick. Various got a level, so on towards the zombie horde we go. Hmm. And let's see. I should probably sort a bit through all of this. Um, those are the same. Let's see. We've got the Forsaken and the Crusher. Suppresses, increased rate of fire, increased range, increased area of effects. How's the damage? Okay, that's a hell of a lot more damage. Then again, this thing fires faster than it shows. It would be nice to, to have these... It would be nice if the uh, effects were actually shown in the stats as well. Like how how exactly, how much faster it fires and such, instead of just vague increased. Yeah. Oh. Let's see. Auto cannon. Okay, that one's worse. Thunderous and Doom Spitter. Thunderous can go. Let's see. Auto cannon. Mm -hmm. Decent against vehicles. <laughs> hmm. Shall we stick with this thing for the moment or go with the missile launcher? He, he has been having big issues with actually hitting thing, uh, things with missile launchers. But whenever we point him at a vehicle, it does hit with, with accuracy 5%. But I just realized, hmm? suppress enemy use in an area on hit. Okay, that's actually a problem, I realized. He hits, as you said, tanks without a problem, but... You don't really suppress tanks. Yeah, it would suppress things around them, though. Hmm. Yeah, but... It would most effectively it hit a group of infantry for that suppression effect. But, but yeah, we really have them that close to each other to begin with. True, and Kane is typically at the back line, so he typically needs time to get up front and by the, <laughs> to the, yeah, to get forwards. And by that time, the killing will have already started. Let's actually let's try this auto cannon since it is also pretty decent against vehicles, not specifically against them, but we'll still have various with the anti-vehicle weaponry here as well. And it has knockback, which actually works well for the auto cannon. That it should have easy time to have put that effect well enough on the infantry. Yeah. Let's see. Let's give you some more offensive abilities. Mm -hmm. Bloodthirst would work better on someone else, I think. Hmm. Yeah, it, it. You really would expect him to have a bit more abilities than just hit something with big stick. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's go for that one. And yeah, basically, Nairoth finally learned Fireball, which is something most sorcerers and mages learn at like level 5, and he is, what, like, he said 10,000 years old at the absolute minimum. Oh dear. No accessories to for Kane. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we, these are only these are spells, so he can't equip those. Hmm. 
And it's it, also it's something weird. that's a bit annoying with the low drop rate at low difficulties. It's you just you don't you, know, you don't really get too much interesting stuff. Yeah, it, it kind of feels weird. No, you have everyone with some kind of uh, equipment or accessories, but Kane has none. But he has two slots. Hmm. Okay, off to the judgment of Carrion. And this time we will take the tank. Okay, after this one, we'll probably be done with the stream. Yep. Eliphaz, you have failed Lord Abaddon, as you have failed Olkir. It was your information that led us here, Neroth. Pray that I forget this day when my ascension is complete. I have no need of broken instruments. I will have my cabal of sorcerers extinguish your minds. Lord Abaddon, Kyrus is a coward and hides among the stars. Grant me three final days, and I will relieve the Blood Ravens of their enslavement to the dead Emperor. Your ignorance is why you failed me before. Do not tempt my wrath. I will deliver them to eternal suffering in your name. Surely their screams of agony will please the Dark Gods more than mine ever could. You are not in a position to bargain, Elipas. Your word has no value, and your soul already belongs to me. But your fear amuses me. I will grant you three pitiful days. No matter the outcome, your soul cannot escape me, worm. Let us make for the nearest warp rift. My prize awaits me yet. Okay, now they're both in trouble with, with Daddy Abaddon. Oh dear. Okay, just picked up the tagalongs, and yeah, we know how this one goes as well. Mad Mac teleport Rom in? <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> how, how are you doing, Rom? I exist. Oh, that's something. And welcome, Rom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Welcome yeah, we to. Go ahead. Could have joined earlier, but I kind of forgot. I wanted to join in for the Imperial Guard campaign, but I kind of just forgot. Yeah, we were already done with them, sadly. Okay, uh, all our final campaign. Yep. So once we're done with this next week, probably, we'll be moving on to a new game again. Though it won't be a 40k one this time. And here I thought you were gonna do Space Marine. And maybe eventually. Yeah. I think that is on the list on, for the future. But we do want to do a bit more, uh, try to mix uh, some things up a bit for... We've been playing Dawn of War games for so long. Yeah. This was this one specifically has passed 18 episodes now, I believe, total. Yeah, so we could count Dawn of War 2 games. Uh, yeah, yeah, then... Uh, Wait, you're probably easy at 40 or something. Maybe not that many, but still... Yeah, if you would if you would count up the <laughs> the videos of Dawn of War 2, Dawn of War 2 Chaos Rising, and this one... Yeah, I'm definitely... I'm certain it would reach 30 total, at least. 
totally over. <laughs> and now I just got done paying for twenty roll. Okay. Wait, what? Hmm. And yeah, it's a sight. Oh, okay. It's a streaming thing for uh, anime and stuff. Oh, Crunchyroll! The fuck did you think I said? <laughs> I Actually, think you... didn't hear what you said. I just heard something sounded like mumbling. Because I was unable to identify. Uh, like, what? Crunchyroll? What, what, what is he on about? And when he's recently he's Crunchyroll, he just don't owe you. He, that's what he said. Okay, for a moment I thought he misheard it. I thought you misheard it like for a crunchy roll, like foods. And hello in chat, Marco. Where's the tube guy? One of the, you mean I, this one? I actually thought. Not about the case, was that he was talking about food. Oh, <laughs> company. Okay. I cannot warp us away. Okay, that's a bit different. And hello there, Polo. <laughs> he almost went for Marco Polo. Oh, love. <laughs> right, hello there, Marco. There we go. <laughs> Marco Polo. Where? Uh. <laughs> but yeah, we're about halfway through with the loss of the campaigns. I've already got uh, the next game lined up, Strange Horticulture, which is somewhat close to an alchemy game like I would want one, but it's more botany than alchemy. Hmm. I, I'm still gonna uh, half expect explosions. <laughs> Or accidentally using me and Rome for your um, experiments. <laughs> okay, it, it won't be to that point, but I do know that it has multiple endings, so that could be something to rerun, run through it a few more times, or maybe do that more on a <clears throat> more do that with YouTube, since otherwise it would be just mostly going through the same stuff again. I think it's a bit of a it is mostly a puzzle game is but the puzzle is more figuring out what the hell is this plan what the hell does it do all that sorts makes sense yes okay, don't use us for experimentations please <laughs> okay now, it, it is a bit of a simple game but I, I, I would definitely like to see a sequel of sorts to it somewhere uh, at some point where it goes a bit more in depth with thing uh, with the mechanics of identifying certain things. Uh, it will depend on the development and how well it's sold. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see here from Marco. Marco says I'm making a pizza. Why is the P in pizza capitalized? I no I'm confused. Are we talking about actual pizza or we got a pizza here? Okay. Did, did you stuff them into the, the oven or something? Don't put a DT into the oven! <laughs> and I'm doing fine, Marco. They ask how we are doing. Uh, doing decent. Bit of back trouble. But yeah, once I find. A, a pillow that actually fits that should hopefully be bleh, should hopefully uh, be Help. uh, helped. Yeah. Bleh. I was gonna I ask can't. something. Oh. Oh. What do you think about co-oping the original Hell Divers? I, I've uh -oh. got it. I've played it. I didn't find it too interesting uh, myself, but. I do know that Helldivers 2 is very highly praised, and it does look good from what I've seen. It, it is tough, but it's not like Dark Souls uh, kick your ass uh, if you make a single mistake tough. Yeah, the reason why I'm asking for the first Helldivers is because I have that one, and also my computer is still crap, so I kind of can't really run Helldivers 2. Okay, yeah, we can uh, put it on the list. 
Yeah. Also, <laughs> the list. also, the Tomb Raider remasters just came out like like two days ago. Yep. No, it's more like yeah. a, a re uh, more like an updated re-release than a full remaster or remake from what I've saw and seen. Uh, I guess the old it would be a remaster for the for what you see, they have updated the graphics, but still looks similar, just that it looks better. Like they keep the art style, you could say. Yeah. Which does be, look, which does look a little bit odd when you've just got terrain that is fully square. And then yeah. the high definition Laura. <laughs> but yeah, I'll probably pick it up at some point, and maybe even stream it. Yeah, but I'm, I'm up for streaming it for all three was was uh, released into one package. Yep. And from what I like to see the thumbnails, people seem to like it. Yes, the biggest the biggest complaint I've heard about it is that uh, it still has tank controls. Uh, I guess it could change everything. True. Yeah. Well, yeah, it should be fun like, all the same. Yeah. But I also can see the issue that if they were trying to remove the tank controls, they could really mess with other things. Yeah. Like, what is that? Joe Stripe Hayes made a video about the original Tomb Raider and such. And uh, as annoying as the controls can be, they are kind of uh, a bit required for the platforming with it and such. Yeah, which means you remove the time controls and not fix everything else, you probably break the game. Yeah, basically, remove the time controls and you may end up having to redesign the entire game. Yeah. Which could be what people expected, I guess, or wanted, at least. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, like, sort of uh, like uh, the, the how the the last trilogy of Tomb Raider games was. But yeah, that was not entirely not what they had in mind. They just wanted to re-release the old games in a more, well, easily functional and playable state. Yeah. Yeah, this is all right, and yeah, that is the tank controls may not be as bad as long as they are functionally as intended and smoothly. Yep. Barry's just still just leaving a stink trail wherever he goes. Yeah, for a there has been many good games that actually use tank controls that work just fine. Okay, tank. Uh, basically, uh, Read what the Mocha said. Mocha says they are not cooking Dodo pizza. <laughs> That's good. Or at least they claim so. Yeah. Dead Island Riptide is 100% off till Monday? Yep. Okay. I think I already have that though, but I can definitely double check. And um, let's see. Um, Marco says, I has heard my dad scream out of happiness since Croatia won the World Cup in water polo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh, that one just got teleported in, so let's just break the teleporter. I think I just made a pun for some reason. No. Like Mar said, Marco and <laughs> water polo. Yeah, for some reason it felt like I ended up on them due to it. Okay, still no sign of really let the galaxy burn is what it's called, really. from a rift in the warp, basically like sticking an extension cord up Cthulhu's ass to try and power a bicycle or something. 
Yeah, there has been trying to use a lot of pro resources to power this teleporter instead of actually using the actual teleporters. Yep. Ugh. But we've never accused orcs of actually being smart. <laughs> yeah. Especially not when they are like him, definitely gone crazy. <laughs> Even more than usual. He says that mad mech. Yeah, that's his name. Does it mean that he actually calls himself that? <laughs> but yeah, just 10 years stuck on a space hulk, uh, yeah, that would drive anything <laughs> insane. Even the blasted Necron, probably. Do not presume to command me. Oh mm. dear. Hmm. Noise Marines actually cost like only 20 energy? Okay. Hmm. Okay then. Oh, I think I should remember something about Necrons here. About Sarim. I forgot what his title is. His people usually has joked him that he should be the Necron Indiana Jones of 40k. The collector or something? Uh, yeah, the collector. Along, I forget the other one's name. I think he's a sort of. Someone who does a crime or something. That they, they actually once fought each other. That. But as described it, the writer actually did uh, say commentate to say, well, it sounds impressive. This is, in fact, just still uh, just two elderly men fighting each other. <laughs> and of course, West Mammer, which I love to is choose to add their faces onto, uh, yeah, the old man from Family Guy. Okay, I was half expecting you to say the Muppets. That would be one way to do it, but no, they even choose him instead. And good god, that... I don't like Family Guy. I only slightly grin at that, but just the idea itself uh, of two elderly men have epic battle managers where they are fighting slow as heck. <laughs> so amuses me. And Kane is in trouble because he went the wrong way. Okay, everyone focus down the stupid mech. Because those teleporters are just going to constantly bring in new things. I still to seriously suspect that Kane, there's something wrong with Kane's helmet. Mm. Like, he has bad aim and he keeps going the wrong way. Uh. Okay, okay he's using that Earth Shaker thing, uh, or ability. Oh gosh, now I should remember something from uh, Idiotic Synergy. Or one of those uh, short sketches. Mm -hmm. Where one of the Death Watch had hidden in each Grey Knight's helmet a Ripper. <laughs> a Tyranid Ripper. And yeah, they were screaming a lot when they put, all put all on their helmets. Uh, let's be honest, the, the Grey Knights probably would just eat it for a snack and leave it at that. Yeah, probably. Maybe you do. I don't think you want to, to put your helmet real as there's something inside the helmet. Yeah. Like, I, I think I've had it happen once or twice when I go to put on my motorcycle helmet. And there's a fucking spider in the thing. Uh, oh, okay, spider. Okay, that's still not pleasant. I don't expect you to say Inky or Rat or something was in it. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, let's so see. Marco. Honest, if, go ahead. Uh, let's, say, let's be honest, I would not, it, you would not be surprised if a cat stole your helmet. Okay. Ah, uh, um, cold to spam. Actually, yeah, it, what? what did Marco say there? Chaos Marines. Uh, Marco, whenever someone says 10 years like you guys did just now, I immediately remember a line from the first Yakuza game, and the line is 10 years in the joint makes you a fing pussy, okay? Okay. 
Okay, I, I should have brought out a group of cultists for the buff long ago, but I will. There we go. Uh, you lot get into combat. We haven't gotten any upgrades for these guys yet, I'm pretty sure. Like, they have nothing. I, I'm pretty sure we've seen something pop up for them at least once. But beyond that, not really. We should probably start looking for upgrades for them, I think. I still don't want to be maintaining too many... Too much war here. Yeah, too many war here. Hmm. Yeah, w one thing, one way that I think you could fix the item drops uh, in this game would be to give you, uh, at the end of every mission, give you a choice between an upgrade and give you a, a piece of war gear. Definitely. That way you can upgrade your army and your heroes. Okay, he's using the shields. We'll just need to pop that. And then we'll pop him like a big green zit. He's actually trying to run away a bit. What were you doing over there, Eliphas? Okay. Dark Twin. Hmm. Edgy name? And we've hit our two hour mark. Oh, yeah. I was wondering if you could count Chaos as edge lords, but no, they are... Yeah, I will not count Chaos Marines as edge lords exactly. <laughs> they are so edge that the edge is turned into a fractal and cuts anything that gets even close to it. <laughs> More of an edge is supposed to be dark, mysterious, grumpy. Chaos Marines is angry! And bloodthirsty! <laughs> Let's Not see. really itch about it. Imperial Abyss creates a devastating warp rift that deals heavy damage to units in an area. Unholy Change will pull nearby infantry into its area of effect. Now that actually sounds not, not, not it doesn't sound like that nice, but it does sound like a good ability. And once again we get shafted on the gear. Let's see, Dark Twin, and it's an accessory. Chance on death to spawn a doppelganger, plus health. By means of a sacred blood ritual, a powerful demon is bound to the bearer of this artifact, drastically increases their health, and the demon has a chance to manifest itself as a doppelganger on the bearer's death. I'm pretty that's sure we've read something that's pretty much the exact same, but as an yeah, ability. Like, is it, yeah, as a ability, but as an item with that many health bonus? That might hmm. actually be useful as an item. Oh, and there is the fabled artifact of Araman. And it's a staff! Let's see, periodically fires off a volley of doom bolts instead of a normal attack, and 35% chance to knock back enemies. A four staff rippling with enough sorcerer's power to attract the interest of Aramon of the Thousand Suns. Okay, we're gonna have to take it. Even, even if we should take a tank, we, we're gonna need to take this one. You should have asked for more time, Elephas. You do not even know where Kyrus hides. Search the warp for clues, but I hear nothing beyond the scratching whispers of demons that hunger for your imminent flesh. Perhaps you should spend less time with your head in the warp, Neroth, and listen to the one you serve. I know precisely where Kairos hides. He has fled to Cyrene, where the Exterminatus has already come to pass. Now, you will take me there. Pray that you are still within my favor when my ascension is complete. <laughs> Your ascension. I will come with you to Cyrene. Then I will return to Lord Abaddon with your broken body, so that he may break your soul. Okay, but that is where oh, we'll have to dear. leave it for today. S save and return. And yeah, next time, or next week, more, more specifically, unless we do an extra stream at any point in between, we'll be finishing with this game, finally. Yeah. 
The enemy start this early last year? The Dawn of War series? Uh, the entire uh, the franchise from Dawn of War 1 to here, we did start yeah, a good, good amount of months back. Let me actually do a quick look on that. When did I upload the first of the Dawn of War streams? Uh, yeah, we got the most during the summer or spring or was actually in the autumn. Let's see. Da, 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 da. So, uh, show all 34 videos total. Let's see. Dawn of War 1 was in... Okay, not early. Uh, let's see. September 19th. It, September is the ninth one, right? Uh, yeah, there's two stuff in between, so... Sept seven becomes nine. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. Three. Yeah. Almost half a year with this franchise. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. But yeah, for now, before we start, the before we end the stream, we've already started it way early. We're going to look for someone to raid. And okay, for this time, it's not enough to expand it. So we'll, we'll read down the entire list. Uh, yeah, I cannot see that change... at the moment. Yeah, let me change over the screen share, change windows, switch, live, let's see. We have Dr. Misunderstood who is playing Halo 3 ODST. We have Moonrise playing Lethal Company with mods, apparently. So Rolvis is playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. I heard that the second half of that got announced recently, at least, for when we released. I think so, yeah. We have Karenai playing Signalis. Isaiah was here with Celeste. WBPL streaming Breath of the Wild. Buffle Cakey is playing Enshrouded. And then last but not least, we have Kenai with Helldivers 2. Any of those sound interesting? Or shall I take a pick? Uh, I will let you take a pick. Okay. Uh, just taking a quick look through the recommended. So we've got God of War Ragnarok, Dishonored. And uh, Helldivers and Dark Souls 3. Okay, apparently one of these is the one with Dishonored is doing an any percent speed run. Okay. Um, let's see. Signalis. Let's go look for... Let's go visit Puffle Cakey. Because I've seen a bit about this game in Shrouded, but I've never not really gotten too much context to it. I've seen a bit of it. It looks okay. interesting. I just... I just haven't liked the early things they've done that you only allowed to play it for a certain amount of time on mm -hmm. one world. Like you only allowed to play on one world for like let's say a beginner like what was it like two hours? But the way to get around it was play as, at it as little as possible and use an extra map for your farming. Okay. Uh, like a beta thing or is Yeah, it's one of those beta test things which were rather odd. Okay, but that does make more sense since uh, they don't want to have, have too much revealed. But yeah, copy the name, head to our channel, slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Marco. Thank you. Let's see any lurkers. Yep, Tatum and Sensei are lurking. And let's see, one name that I suspect is a bot. And... Okay, that's. I think I, I, I think I actually kicked this, <laughs> banned this bot from Beanie's channel yesterday or the day before or so, because his channel was just absolutely infested with bots. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I don't know. I think uh, little crazy yes may have been watching. It was unsure how long they've been watching. Only um, they said they were to watch the stream. Okay, for, for for all we know, there could be like 20 people without accounts watching, but I'm not going to toot my own horn that much. But yeah, thank you all. Thank you as always as well, Ram and Vakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, in about two, uh, in about uh, three hours, two hours 50 to be more exact, if nothing gets in the way, we'll be continuing with Partisans 1941. And yeah, tomorrow is Showcase Sunday. And I'm thinking of actually doing another Slime Rancher stream in the evening. Like we were going, we were planning to go like 50 50 with Slime Rancher and Hard Space Shipbreaker. But there's a whole new region in, ship, in Slime Rancher to find still, I think. 
unless the teleporter underneath the lager isn't active yet. But still, it'll be nice to just continue with slime okay, branches. Yeah, no. and yep. Okay, he's talking to someone else there. But Could yeah, be. I'll be open for more slime rancher for is there definitely a nice piece from the story on the uh, shipbreaker, which yeah. as you know boils me. Okay. But for now though, let's get that raid started. There we go, no block. And yeah, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. See you guys later. One. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls. And chaos, because, well, they'll they'll act all high and mighty, but the moment that things turn against them, uh, they, they will cower like, well, the idiots they are. Yeah. Yep. Later. <laughs> Later.